All right, guys, this is house number four. All right, house number four. House number four. House number four. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Should have been a welcome home mat. All right, first thing first, absolutely love that this is a peephole instead of some glass. Oh, okay. All right. Could have did carpet for sure. Um, excuse me. Jeez. Some little dust particle flying around in here. Some. All right, so this is an older uh, ceiling fan, but we'll take it. You know, that's what we got to work with. These fans, I mean, these ceilings are not that tall. Uh, hmm. This feels more like an office already, like straight off the bat. Feels more like an office, but thank God they did a better job with the uh, with the walls. This is how the walls are supposed to look. All right, definitely how the walls are supposed to look. Um, yeah, I definitely would have did carpet in the inside of here. Definitely would have did carpet. Hmm. All right. Definitely would have did carpet in the inside of here. I believe that's going to be the master bedroom. So we'll do, we'll visit that last. We'll come in the kitchen right before. All right. So we are trying to get a little bit more on the smart side of things. I, I absolutely love that, man. Absolutely love that. All right. So we're greeted with a bathroom. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got a little regular sink right here. Just a, a regular, typical bathroom. And I'm definitely not tripping about that at all. You can definitely appreciate that. You got a little little sunlight peeking, peeking through up there from the shower. All right. Oh. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got some space to put some towels, maybe washcloths. We got a light up here, vent up here. Not bad, not bad. It's a regular sized bathroom. We're not tripping on it. All right. Can't lock this door. That's good. All right. And right here, you got the washer and dryer hookup, the outlet. You put some laundry detergent and stuff up here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting how they went with this. Hmm. All right, so we got some extra space over here. Very, very interesting when they chose how they chose to, to go with this. Oh, we already know what this is hot water heater and whatnot. All right, back door. Got a back door right here. Huh. We got a back door right here. Flick some switches. We got a light up here. Maybe a light outside. Again, yeah, not a fan of these doors. Don't like those doors. Oh, we got a little spot. This is actually not bad. Put a little monitor. Do some little work or whatever in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. I can definitely appreciate that. You got a light in the hallway. You also have a light right above your workstation, workspace or whatever. Turn it on there. All right, we got a vent down there. Going in the inside of the room. We got a vent over here. Again, definitely would have preferred some carpet in here. But we do have some outlets on all of these walls. Yeah. And then we have a closet. All right. Just a regular, typical closet. Room is not the biggest. Uh, not the biggest thing in the world, but you know, I guess it'll do. All right, let's go to room number two. Uh, about the same, looks like. We got a vent right here. You have a light right here. We got a window right there. And we have outlets basically on every wall. Outlet right here, and we have a closet. All right, we have a closet to store some clothes. All right, not bad, not bad at all. A lot of stuff going on up there. All right, so 
Now we're going to go into the kitchen area. This is the kitchen area. You got the dining room right here. You got some outlets. You got a vent. You got some lights up top. Jojo. Got an outlet right here. Huh? Mm -hmm. You got an outlet right here. Dishwasher. Oh, okay. That's interesting. But then again, they're going back to what I told you guys I don't like. One big full sink. Separate these mugs, man. That's all you got to do, brother. Just separate them. All right. You got a stove. So I'm seeing they're doing this a lot now. I don't know how I feel about this. I just don't like the way it looks. And when your cabinets are not above the stove, your cabinets aren't getting wet. Remember how they would get wet? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, touche, Jojo, touche. <laughs> All right, so you can go ahead and throw a couple of, you know, little bar, bar stools or whatnot up under here. You probably get about three of those. Then you also have a vent right here as well. This is the kitchen in the dining room area. Without showing the, uh, the refrigerator for obvious reasons. And then you have the living room area right here, aka the office. Feels like office. All right, so this is not too bad. This is a uh, decent space. Decent space. You got two vents on the floor, you have outlets on every corner. And wow, wow. Uh, I can tell you right now the video is definitely not doing it justice, but this is a long closet. Long closet. Video is definitely not doing this thing justice. But you got lights up top. Lights up top. You got two big windows. You got a ceiling fan up here. Smoke detector right there. And again, decent size. I can, I can, I can work with this. I can definitely work with this, uh, this bedroom. Wow. Okay. All right. Little his and hers, right here. Hmm. Interesting. I ain't trying to steal all the camera time right now, guys. My bad. All right. I love this long. Mirror. I definitely prefer that versus those two little small mirrors or whatever. I definitely prefer that long mirror. They should have this in every freaking unit, I think. Um, especially when it comes to his and hers. Don't separate the two. You have a light up there. You got a vent. Vent down here. Got your storage. You have an outlet on each side. And then you have... So they must be in the process of uh, of doing something with this. So that's going to be covered pretty much here. And then, of course, this is where you walk in it and take your shower. They're going to have something up there soon. So it's still in the process of, you know, getting these things together. Right here you got another light. So you got two. Another light right here so you can make sure you're getting the right towel. Then you have a window right here. And this, my friends, is the bathroom. All right. This is the bathroom. All right. There we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. All right. So let's check that price and see what that price looks like, shall we? A hundred and sixty-five thousand and seventy-eight dollars. All right, and that's what you get when you buy a three-bed, two-bath, fifteen sixty-eight square feet uh, modular home here. And these right here are the upgrades. All right. All right. 
here we go 1500 square feet guys all right so uh things that i do like i do like the fact that they did a better job with how these walls look okay make these walls look like a home first and foremost uh coming into the house uh it felt a little bit more like an office space rather than a home uh i think they could have put some carpet in here or whatever definitely could have did the uh the carpet um let's see dining room not tripping on that the kitchen not tripping on that besides you know the, i feel like they could have split the sink up a little bit i don't know how i feel about that that looks that looks weird and unfinished um bathroom not complaining about the bathroom the bathroom looks like a bathroom uh the rooms are small but i feel like you know they they're good we can get them used uh i don't know maybe maybe they could have did something a little bit different with the space like i probably would have did something a little bit different with the space it's a mud huh it's a mud oh a mud room mud room yeah what that mean so when you walk in, that's where everybody drops their shoes, their bags. Oh, right here. Their yeah. Oh. Shoes, their bags, their clothes. So instead of you know being all over the house, everything kind of right there. Let me tell you right now, y'all, y'all taking off shoes and everything else at the dope player. If you got like, a lot you... of kids and a lot of activities, yeah. baseball, all that stuff, everything's in one. All right. Jump up. <laughs> We got we got a wash and dry. I'm gonna tell you what, y'all just you take off, take off your stuff, get like a little tent or something. Take off your stuff and put it in the bag. And have some clean clothes to go from one one spot to the next, and you know we get a situation. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I uh, definitely love love the uh, the big mirror that's in here. I think they should do that with all uh, his and hers bathrooms instead of making like one mirror. And a, a separate and two. No, man, it's his and her. Like, we're together. We're separating stuff for it, brother. But, yeah. Um, for the price tag of $165,000, I still think I could have saved a little bit more on the back end with some of these upgrades. So they charge for that. Dip in the ceiling stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, stuff like that. Come on, man. Unless you're going to make the whole entire ceiling like that where it looks like it's going to be bigger, cool. But no, that's that's not needed. That don't make any sense to me. Uh huh. No, no, I didn't say I didn't. I didn't like it. I said I could have saved a little bit more money on the back end when it comes to uh, some things that they did with it. Uh, yeah. Uh, but but coming into it again, they could have. I definitely would have preferred carpet. It just felt a little bit more like a office. Rather than a house. Agree. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They could have yeah, yeah. could have yeah, did a better job with with the watch McCall. I do. No, no. I, I, I like this though. Mm -hmm. the watch McCall and make it feel like it's open. Yeah, I seen some stuff around here that I wasn't uh, wasn't too fond of. What happens to some cracks and stuff too? I wonder how. Found, uh, foundation got a lot to do with that. But, all right, we're going to the next one.